Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports on News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick video on the Eagles getting a guy that we're familiar with from the division, James Bradbury. First and foremost, please continue to subscribe down below. Up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. We're almost there. We really appreciate you guys' love and support this far. So, Bradbury comes in bringing some big strengths, also some weaknesses that are fairly noticeable as well. Let's get right into them. One of his biggest strengths is also a strength of our other corner that's going to be playing alongside of him. Bradbury's just not nearly to the full elite degree of uh, Darius Slay, but that's being able to pa pass block and also interceptions. He has a ridiculous amount of pass blocks over 80 in the last few years and over 15 interceptions in the last few years collective as well. So Bradbury's good at cutting the routes and good at anticipating almost like an outfielder in baseball, reading exactly where the ball's going to go to be able to block it down <clears throat> or catch it, excuse me, to add to his interception total. The one thing that I would say is his biggest weakness would be, sometimes you see this with Slay as well, but not necessarily to the degree. I remember even playing the Giants, and the Eagles will be able to take advantage of this. If you could get him in the open field, he's not the best tackler. So if you're able to get him on a slot route and get him in the open field with a quicker guy, you are probably going to be able to beat James Bradbury. But everybody has their strengths and weaknesses, obviously. The Eagles got him to play more to what it seems like they're trying to do, which is trying to have the big boy playmakers on the outsides at corners and Darius Slay and James Bradbury. Maddox, he's even said now, since Bradbury signed on today, that he wants more targets to come to him in the slot, which I would have to presume is going to be the beat of attack for um, most opposing teams with Bradbury, even though Bradbury allows a good amount of yards if you look at his numbers over the years because he goes for the plays and sometimes over goes for the play rather than playing the man who play the ball and then completely miss it. And then the guy will be off to the races, Cook City, and out and gone and cooking him down the field. But I think for the Eagles, he does fit in fine because if you're able to keep Slay to the outside, Maddox is able to continue to develop. You have a good crop. It's just about not trying to expect James Bradbury <clears throat> to do things he can't do, which is being an elite tackler, being a guy that's elite when somebody's more over the middle of the field and to the outside where he can make big, bigger pass blocking plays and anticipate it better for the uh, interception. It's just, we got to come in and expect the expected. I expect him to be fantastic at anticipating the ball up in the air. I expect him to be fantastic at being able to block down the, the passes on the pass blocks that he's one of the better corners in the league at doing. I expect him to be good at anticipating it to get a couple picks as well. What I don't expect James Bradbury to come in and be great at doing is overall tackling, which is fine because the Eagles have <clears throat> other guys that fit that, but I like this move as a whole. I would probably give it a B-ish range. I don't love this move, but I like this move as a whole because he does have those weaknesses that are already kind of in the Eagles' defense. Like Maddox, for example, I wouldn't say is the best coverage guy, but is better at tackling probably than James Bradbury, but Bradbury's a better coverage and pass blocker guy and interception anticipator than Maddox, so like, now you're kind of just trying to, I think, balance out each of your corner's weaknesses with another one's strengths, and that's kind of a tough puzzle piece to play, but we'll have to see what happens with the Eagles and if they're able to put it together. They kind of did do that, you figure, with getting the Robinsons and a bunch of other guys in the world that just kind of fit into a perfect puzzle with that 2017 team, but that was also just a magical season those don't come around all too often. But they also, of course, do have McPherson, who's continuing to develop with them. We'll have to see uh, what they decide to do with McPherson going forward as well. So there's options at corner. I like this move. I would give it a B. Great with the interceptions. Great with the pass blocks. Sometimes is over-aggressive trying to make the play. So I would hope the Eagles, so he lessens his yardage given up or maybe the team to be able to tamper his aggression to be a little bit more overall effective. But he obviously has been a very good corner in terms of interceptions and in terms of blocking down the rock when it tries to come to the receiver. Sometimes he'll just get beat, though, because it go too much for the ball in the big play than actually going for stopping the guy after he just catches it when he doesn't really have much of a damn chance to stop that pass. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe down below. 
Up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. We appreciate guys' love and support this far. The Eagles have added on to the defensive core, bringing in giant former giant James Bradbury for one year, 10 million bucks.